Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how you can remove personal vault on OneDrive. So if you guys want to learn how to do it, just follow the steps that I'm going to show you. As you can see guys, I'm right now on my desktop and this is how the homepage looks like. So the first thing that you need to do guys is open the file explorer. So in order to do that, just go to your uh, start menu and then search for file explorer once you do that go ahead and click on open and then you're going to be right here in this window so right here in the left you're going to find all of the sections here you're going to find the home section gallery and here as you can see guys you're going to find the onedrive section so right now go ahead and right click on the onedrive section and then right here you're going to find all of these options right here you're going to find the option to copy it expand it here you can open it in a new tab open a new window and so on and right here as you can see guys you're going to find these Three options right here you're going to find the option to always keep it on the device free up space and lastly right here you're going to find the onedrive settings go ahead and click on onedrive and then right here you're going to find these three options here you're going to find the option to view it online right here you're going to find settings and lastly right here you're going to find folder color so basically guys right now go ahead and click on view online and then this will take you to this page on the web Right here, as you can see, guys, in the left, you're going to find all of these options. Here, you're going to find my files, recent, photos, shared. And lastly, right here, you're going to find the recycle bin. So right now, go ahead and click on my files. And as you can see, guys, right here, you're going to find your personal vault. So basically, guys, uh, there, is, there isn't a way to totally remove the personal vault. But you can unlock it and it will stay unlocked until you lock it again. If you want to unlock it, just click on these three dots right here. Click on unlock and then you need to verify your identity. So they're going to send you an email and then you need to enter the code right here. So once you enter the code, just click on verify and then you're going to be able to verify your identity. And as you can see, guys, once you do that, the personal vault is going to be unlocked and you can access all of the files inside of the personal vault. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next video.